Greetings and welcome to New Zim TV. I am Makanaka Masenyama. Story is making the headlines. Mutuli Nube sets aside $380 million to compensate white farmers. In the courts, former Zanara boss caged 30 months. In business, Nube suspends duty on wine and cheese. Now for the news in detail. Finance Minister Mutuli Nube on Thursday set aside $380 million in his budget to compensate mainly white former commercial farmers who lost their land during the country's land reform program initiated since 2000. In his budget presentation before Parliament, Nube said over 500 farmers had already received compensation. ZANU PF MPs have endorsed Nube's 2020 budget proposals, which they say is balanced. Chukomba Central MP Felix Mona said the major achievements by the minister was his said ability to address fiscal discipline. Mona is also budget and finance parliamentary chairperson. Pupureto Garepi, who is party secretary for youth, held the minister for introducing the youth entrepreneurship tax incentive initiative. Very excited and the realization by the government and by the minister that youth have very energy. If you support them, you support development. So youth are still very keen to prove themselves to the country and contribute production, build their own wealth and the facilities that have been provided in the budget for the youth tax incentives, money allocated to the projects of the youth, money allocated to the uh, Empower Bank and so forth, all is centered at increasing production and production coming from the youth is sustainable because they still have a future. So I am so excited. Well, Chiru Manzu MP Barbara Rodzi commended Nube for free sanitary way for girls in schools. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Governor John Mangojga says the central bank is now watching all financial institutions like a hawk following the embarrassing flooding of the parallel market with new notes which had been released hours before. Ecobank and CBZ were caught out in the scam with authorities now investigating cases of money laundering against the two financial institutions. Speaking to local media on Thursday, Mangujga said the central bank is closing in all cash barons. Zimbabwe is battling endless cash shortages amid concerns some top government officials are working in cowards with some unscrupulous bank staff in releasing loads of banknotes onto the black market. A three-year-old boy died upon admission at Silovela Hospital while his brother is battling for life at Gweru General Hospital following a grenade blast in Muchogwe area in Silovela Tuesday. Esias Dube, father to the two siblings, said he had no idea as to where his late child had picked the grenade that went on to kill his disabled 20-year-old sibling. The minor was laid to rest on Wednesday while the brother had serious injuries on his right side. Slovela MP Mtogosisi Mano Kimpofu described the minor's death as a tragedy. In the courts, suspended Zimbabwe National Roads Administration Finance Director Mudzengwa Simon Taranike has been jailed for 30 months after he was convicted for criminal abuse of office. Taranike was convicted of unlawfully dishing 1,800 liters worth of petrol to a local journalist. He will, however, serve 15 months effective after his sentence was reduced on condition of good behavior and that he restitutes 1,800 liters of fuel he abused. In passing sentence, Harare Magistrate Hosiam Jaya said a clear message should be sent to Zimbabweans that corruption will never be tolerated. Business. Finance Minister Mutulin Nube Thursday suspended duty on raw cheese, milk powder, and wine, among other goods, 
while turning a blind eye on broader raw material imports currently choking Zimbabwean industry. Presenting the 2020 national budget, Finance Minister announced the suspension of duty on raw cheese on ring-fenced quantities of up to 25,000 kgs per month for a period of 12 months beginning 1 January 2020. The policy thrust comes at a time when local industry players are struggling to access foreign currency for use in raw materials importation. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masengema. For this and more stories, visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News and TV.